today I'll be presenting a paper on solitary fibrous tumor of the orbit. It is no more rare, a case series of 14 cases from India over five years of period. As we all know that solitary fibrous tumor is an uncommon spindle cell tumor of the mesenchymal origin. Most commonly it is reported in pleura, that is mesothelial cell origin, and orbital solitary fibrous tumor is a rare tumor constitute 1.5% all among the whole body solitary fibrous tumor. So the clinical features, aggressiveness of the tumor growth, local recurrence, malignant transformation of orbital SFT vary among population as with like other cancers. So the aim of the study is to analyze the clinical, radiological management and prognosis of the solid orbital solitary fibrous tumor treated in our center. This is a retrospective interventional consecutive case series of 14 diagnosed case of orbital solitary fibrous tumor. The study places is Dishai Hospital, India. The duration is between 2016 to 2021. We have measured the study parameter like patient demography, clinical features, imaging characteristic, histopathology, immunohistochemistry, and follow-up. So now come to the result. In the prevalence, you can see among the all 248 orbitals, orbital tumor, there's only 14 cases of solitary fibrous tumor has been detected. So the prevalence rate is 5.645 in our series. There is no gender predilection, and most of the patient has a good vision of more than 20 by 60. The mean age of presentation was 39 years, and the median age is 37.5 years. Now come to the location. Extraconal location was 57% and tumor presented in the intraconal location was 41%. And if you see the distribution of the quadrant uh, of the uh, orbital location, the most common type was superomedial um, uh, location, that is 42%, followed by superolateral and inferomedial and, and inferolateral. And among the clinical presentation, most patients presented with proptosis around 64%, followed by eyelid swelling in 28%, then ptosis, and finally strabismus. And if you see the imaging characteristic, these are quite uh, variable in this, in this uh, type of tumor. In CT scan, the 50% tumor are isodense, whereas 50% was hyperdense, so there is a confusion. And on MRI, there in the T1, uh, T1 page, the 33% tumor are isointense, where 66% was Hypo intense and uh, in T2 um, uh, in T2 signal the tumor was basically hyper intense and in uh, around 11 uh, one cases only the, it was uh, iso intense type. So there is quite a variability of imaging picture of solitary fibrous tumor which may cause um, con con confusion. So in the management section we found that excisional biopsy was done in. 12 patient, 85%, the tumor was excised in total, and incision biopsy was done in two cases. Adjuvant primary radiotherapy was done in six cases. Local recurrence was found in around 28 patients. At 24 months follow-up, 100% cases was tumor-free uh, after undergoing revision surgery and subsequent radiotherapy. The histopathological and immunohistochemical examination, we found that the, uh, the specimen was well-defined in eight cases. Fragments, that is, it is a very fragile tumor found in three cases, and cryo-assisted incision biopsy was done in two cases. And among the microscopical finding, seeds of spindle separate cell arranged in haphazard pattern. There is a dilated staghorn separate blood vessels with surrounding cellular spindle cell trauma. This is the staghorn, uh, staghorn pattern. This is actually the collapsed blood vessels. On immunohistochemistry, 100% CD34 and STAT6 was positive in 100% patient, and vimentin CD9 was uh, CD99 and BCL2 was present in 64% cases. Uh, these are some of the relevant study done uh, elsewhere. We can see that in the 2020, Blessing et al. has presented a sample of 21 yes, patients. Yes, sir. And uh, all patients are alive. And here also they found CD34 CD and STAT was positive 
Yes, sir. And th uh, in our study, we found 14 cases. Here also we found 100% patient was positive in 34, CD 34 and STAT 6. There is local recurrence found in four cases. However, after uh, redo surgery and radiotherapy, all are alive. There is no recurrence after 24 months. So to conclude, orbital solitary tumor is a rare tumor with an aggressive course. Imaging guidance required for precise location, extent of tumor, and surgical planning. Histopathology and immunohistochemistry is to confirm the diagnosis, meticulous surgery, post-operative radiotherapy lowers the recurrence. These are my references. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jaita. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Where from you got the history, immunohistochemistry done? Sir, immunohistochemistry, I did and in, in Kolkata, we have two, three center. Uh, most of the cases, immunohistochemistry is done in uh, Tata Medical Center in oh. Kolkata and rest are done in Mamaro uh, N3 Bedi. Pattern of the lesion in your case series, like uh, pattern of the lesion, it was more localized or diffuse. Yes, in my cases, the uh, around with, uh, yes. uh, the um, 14 cases, uh, among the 14 cases, 12 cases was localized, and rest of the, uh, the two cases was very much diffuse, and it was actually recurrent cases already previously operated elsewhere, and it recurred. So we did incision biopsy in two cases, that diffuse one. And then so under most of the time, we see in our cl uh, clinical practice ki more type of diffuse sort yes. of uh, it, solitary it, fibrous In my series, it was it. different. Even three cases I have that I thought it is a pleomorphic adenoma of the la lacrimal gland in the, by seeing clinically and also radiologically. But surprisingly, madam? Very localized yes, region, in uh, my series, localized cases 